And we are following breaking news out of the federal courthouse. 16 months in federal prison and one year of supervised release for former Cincinnati City Council member P.G. Sittenfeld. Now, there are still questions about when Sittenfeld will need to report to prison. WCPO 9 News anchor Brett Boganski is live just outside the federal courthouse tonight. And Brett, you spoke with Sittenfeld's attorneys right after the sentencing. It was very brief, but PG Sittenfeld's lawyers said that they plan on appealing not only the sentencing today, but the constitutionality of the whole case. But we found out December 1st is going to be that tentative date when Sittenfeld has to report to prison. So right now he's essentially out on bond, meaning he's not in prison. But before he found out how long he's going to be going to prison, he broke down court. He did show some remorse and contrition here at the 11th hour. Before a federal judge sentenced P.G. Sittenfeld to 16 months in prison and one year of supervised release, he spoke to the court asking for compassion and grace. At one point, he paused, then got choked up, saying, I've grown and I've changed a lot as a father and a husband. Federal prosecutor Kenneth Parker declined to speak with WCPO after the case, but released a statement saying, Sittenfeld earned today's prison sentence. A jury of his peers reviewed the evidence against him and found him guilty. Now he must be accountable for his actions. Not only did he break the law, but he violated the public's trust. Public service is just that, public service, not self-service. While the judge took into consideration Sittenfeld's zero criminal history prior to his bribery and attempted extortion conviction, the judge talked about standing up for the rule of law, adding, we will not tolerate corrupt behavior. It's going to be definitely an appeal. The younger Charles Ritkers also broke down in court talking about his friendship with Sittenfeld, but the judge went back to the tapes with the FBI. But I mean, the one thing I will say is like, you know, I mean, you, you know, you don't want me to like to be like, hey, Chan, like, love you, but can't. So once again, Sittenfeld is out on bond. He is not in prison yet, and his lawyers plan on appealing everything today. So the judge also handed Sittenfeld a $40,000 fine during this sentencing today. But when Sittenfeld does have to report to prison, tentative date once again is December 1st. He's going to be going to FCI Ashland. That is located on the Kentucky-West Virginia state line. We are live outside the federal courthouse tonight. Brett Boganski, WCPO 9 News.